Tonight, two people are in custody connected with a double shooting in Avon. This was the scene back in January where two men were killed. Police tell us they shot each other, but that didn't close this case. Tonight, our Logan Gage has talked with investigators who are now revealing what led to those arrests six months after that crime. The investigation into the shooting deaths of 20 year old Samuel Oliver and 20 year old Patrick Day in January did not end after it was revealed they shot and killed each other during a drug related robbery. A lot of people were shocked that something like this would happen in our town. And what's important to get under people to understand in our in our community in general is that these things will happen no matter where we're at. Avon police, with the help of the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force, just arrested two people, Day's girlfriend and his friend. Avon Deputy Chief Brian Nugent says cases like this take a lot of resources and time. We want to make sure that we're very methodical and very intentional in holding all parties responsible for these types of cases and not just allowing the case to stop simply because two individuals have passed. 13 News just got court documents. They say Day's girlfriend helped him set up the drug deal and robbery. They also claim Day's friend gave him the gun police say Day used to shoot Oliver. According to the documents, detectives used a search warrant for the friend's Instagram messages and found evidence that showed he not only allegedly gave him the gun, he knew about the robbery. Nugent says it doesn't matter that they didn't pull the trigger themselves. Whether you're on the scene or not, if you are aware of intentions of these crimes taking place, you facilitate any sort of instrumentation to allow someone to, commu uh, to commit those crimes, there's going to be repercussions. Nugent says the arrests are a bittersweet resolution to a terrible tragedy. These are very difficult circumstances, and no one likes to see the fact that several people have made bad decisions and a couple of which have lost their lives because of that. Uh, we are proud of the fact that our investigators did not give up on this case. The two suspects are now charged with two counts of armed robbery. Both are being held in the Hendricks County Jail. In Avon, Logan Gay, 13 News.